haven't done an unboxing video in since, well, the pandemic began pretty much. Um, that was a bit of a disappointment because I expected like a bit of a Lego haul from from uh, Walmart. Um, this one was actually a request by my husband uh, who said, um, hey, you might want to do an unboxing video for your anniversary presents. And I just kind of looked at him and I went, what? So, as a request to my significant other, a fulfillment of such, um, I am doing an unboxing video for my anniversary presents. No idea what they are, no idea what he got, so let's find out! There was nothing too delicate just under the surface of so. Well, that's exactly how it came. <laughs> I hope it's not identical to the original Ein Doggy that I forgot you had. I yes, I do have it's it's a it is indeed an Ein Doggy. It is it is an Ein plush from Cowboy Bebop. Yes, I do have it. I, it's a, the other Ein plushie that I have is actually more like real size. So this is, this is a, this is a cute little. Smaller than the cat. More like, yeah, desk, desktop size Ein doggy. But yes, that is cute. Thank you. And my cat is chewing on the box. Do not chew on the box. If you want the box, have the box. There's nothing else in there, is there? Okay. No, the real pro the real one I thought you might want the unboxing for was the other gift. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Can can I have my present? No. Can I have my present? No. Can I have my present? Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Did you buy me a whole box of these? No, no, no. Yes, I did. Oh my god! Is a box. It is a box of the Taiwanese. I want to say yes. Yes, Taiwanese My Little Pony figures. Oh my god! The natural series. Yeah. The natural series. Oh my god! That is fantastic. Thank you. Well, you is the collector. Oh man, I've got to, I've got to open this very carefully, very carefully, because I want to preserve the box. Well, um, I very carefully um, took off the shrink wrap, and the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just this beautiful. It's it the, the texture is almost velvety of the, the box itself, and it's got the it's got a holographic natural series um, logo on it with these beautiful bright and pastel colors. Absolutely gorgeous. I I'm not going to ask how much he paid for this because it's wow shipping an entire case from from Asia. Yikes. But I am, wow. I almost don't want to open these. Almost. Almost. That would sort of defeat the purpose. It would defeat the purpose. 
So they will get opened. Every single one will get opened very carefully from the bottom so as not to disturb the top at all. Um, I will, I'll take a, I'll take a blade and I'll, and I'll slice into the, into the crease and, and open them all up very carefully. But yes, this is, this is what the interior looks like. And the, the box does, um, come up, is, is intended for display purposes, um, cause they are meant to be sold individually. They are, they are blind bag, if you will, ponies. Um, there are 12 in the series. There's no guarantee that you are actually going to get a full set. Um, but yes, I am. I am super cherry blossom fluttershy. Oh my God. That's so cute. Uh, that's fantastic. Thank you, dear. Oh, well, you're welcome. Okay, we have pony number one. Wow, you can't even, you pull out the bag from the box and you still cannot tell. Okay. Applejack. Super, super cute. Slightly, slightly different style from the regular series, but that's honestly to be expected. Super, super cute. They're not, I was expecting them to be kind of a, almost a hard resin, but no, they're, they're actually kind of, it is a vinyl. It's not a super hard vinyl. They are, like, there are parts that are slightly, you can squeeze it ever so slightly. Pop Mart 2021 Hasbro. That is super cute. Okay, well, I have, in fact, opened up all of the figures. Um, I didn't want to actually record all of that, otherwise this would end up being uh, 35, 40 minute video. And uh, on, honestly, do you really want to watch me like literally taking the time to like take a knife and cut open each and every one of box of these and, and undo all of these wrappers? No, probably not. So, um, thus far I do have, um, most of the set. Um, I'm basically this is the last one. It's either going to be Ocean Wave Twilight Sparkle or it's going to be the Chase figure. It's going to be one of the two because there is a Chase figure, which means that there are 13 figures and you have a box of 12. So even if you buy a case, you're not going to get a whole set. Just regardless. So let's see what it is. Every single one of these comes with a card, but I'm not going to look at the card. I'm just going to open it up to find out what it is. And Twilight! Did not get the chase figure. That's fine. Well, now I can tell you what the chase figure is. What is the chase figure? It is Princess Celestia. Ah, it is Princess Celestia. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's fine, honestly. These are, these are, in fact, some really, really great figures. The, the painting is absolutely exquisite. The sculpts are magnificent. Most of even the bases are just fantastically done. There's no that this is this is quite frankly the way that the minifigures should have been done. The minifigures should have been done with a lot of care and a lot of attention, especially for blind bag figures that you're paying sometimes three four dollars for each, and which is <laughs> which is honestly for for not knowing what toy you're going to be getting in theory. Um, we all know work arounds for the for the blind bags, but it um, it it's just I I truly even even the blind like pop figures 
that you could buy here in the states. I always thought that they were far more expensive than what they were really, but then what they were really worth. I I purchased one at one point. It was a like a Black Chase um, Flash Century, I think. I'm not entirely sure what it what it was, but it was. I was just like. Nah, the paint what scheme wasn't even very good either, but these are these are really quite fantastic, and and they're they're very lovely. I'm going to keep them literally as is in the box. Everything's going back into there, and I'll probably take some of the figures out every so often to display them. But they will, by and large, just sort of stay in their packaging, stay in the box, and just kind of be put up on the shelf as a gorgeous little collectible. Thank you, dear. This was a fantastic anniversary present. You're welcome. I notice it's really telling if you compare those to, like, the little blind bag pony life figures. Yeah, the, the, the pony life, the, the blind bag pony life figures that have gotten even smaller and just very weird, like the balloon, like the balloon animals and the unicorn horns on everything. That's just so very weird. But I loved, like, I, I love these these items that quite frankly are coming out of Asia and I really really wish the, the market at least I wish they thought that the market existed in the United States for them alas no because the toy people in America are really short-sighted about these things at least Pop Mart made these available for sale internationally yes that's at least lovely. for a brief time yes they by the way <laughs> My husband just checked to see if the link to buy the case was still available, so, I'm, so I might have been able to put it down as a link below. I can't do that. The link is actually no longer functioning. So I'm, I'm sorry to say that if you didn't buy them um, from the manufacturer, you might have to actually scour eBay or Amazon for, for the figures. But There are articles on the, on the set at Equestria Daily and probably at MLP Merch, too, if anyone wants to look them up. Well, there you go. So, well, thank you for watching. I, I really had fun with this, and I, I love the really the really great surprise anniversary pre present, a, a case of My Little Pony. <laughs> thank you, dear, really. You're welcome.